Hey, what's up? I told my friend that I would do a message box tutorial in Delphi. I never got to it, but now I have the time to because I slept in past my alarm clock, so I'm not at school right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and make up for my lack of school by learning how to actually do a message box in Delphi and also teaching other people how to do this. So, I learned uh, from this right here. It's called DelphiBasics.co.uk. It's a great guide to start off programming in Delphi. So, I'm going to go ahead and copy this code right here, and I advise that you follow along. So, we're going to open our Delphi. Uh, you'll go to File, New, Application. And there we go. Now we have a new application. It should look like this. At the top, you will have your button. It should say OK in the button. Just double click it. And you can leave it right there in the center if you want to. But I'm going to change the caption so it says pop up. You know what? I'll actually make it even better and say log in. So now that we have that, I'll double click on it. I'll paste my source code from right here. See how the end and the begin match up inside of our source right here? Here's the end, and here's the beginning. So uh, now we got to look for var. And the reason we got to look for var is because it tells us right here that we need to uh, declare a variable. Now, we could actually keep it simple and put our variable probably right here, but I haven't tried that out. I'll try it out right now, though. So I'm willing to change. Um, okay, so I, I guess that works, actually. Um, I'm not sure if the the variable has to be like that. Maybe maybe we could even put it in here. I'll, I'll give it a try, just for you. Okay, let's give this a go. No, okay, not going to work. Now, yeah, okay, that's not going to work. So, basically, um, you want to do var right above your begin. I mean, <laughs> var. Okay, there. Now, we're using this variable right here, okay? Button selected. And this is going to be a number, okay? So, a number is an integer. It's going to be a solid number, like 1, 2, or 3. So, we're going to go ahead and declare a integer. So, we're going to type in B-U-T-T-O-N, capital S-E-L-E-C-T-E-D, colon, space, capital I-N-T-E-G-E-R. And then you got to do a semicolon. So let's give this a try now. Okay, so uh, that works. Now uh, a lot of people probably want to know how to like make a confirmation looking message box. And over here it tells you the different uh, dialog types. You'll use this uh, for referencing. And uh, you can learn these, you know, if you type them enough. But uh, you just put it right there, and where it says MT, that stands for message type. So I'll paste the confirmation message type right there, give it a test run, and now you'll see how there's a question mark right there, and it says confirm in the title. So then I'll click cancel, and it says cancel was pressed. So um, if you wanted to make a fake virus, you know, or you know what I'm talking about, um, usually them errors that pop up look like this. Windows has detected a virus. You must restart now. Okay, so uh, run that. Click it. And there you go. It says Windows has detected a virus. You must restart now. And you could obviously change the options that you have to only OK, then someone has to click OK, and uh, if they click X, you could detect that they clicked X and, you know, just make them restart anyways, as, as a joke. Um, I, I don't advise you make that kind of program, because uh, if I had some program opened and, uh, you know, I was working on it, that would piss me off if, I, uh, if my computer restarted, but, uh, you know, do, do whatever you want to, but uh, I'm not responsible for you fucking around, so... Uh, that's that wraps us up. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, this will definitely go in the description. All right. Well, peace out.